Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and today I've got something a little different for you again. Uh, by popular demand, I am showing you guys my dad's solar-powered electric kayak. This is the kayak that uh, a few months ago I built a battery for and I showed you guys how to build a 12-volt trolling motor battery and the comments were full of people saying, alright, well show us the uh, solar-powered kayak that you built it for. So uh, I joined my dad and my uh, two nephews on a kayak trip today and we're going to show you how his solar powered kayak works. All right, so I'm only responsible for a small part of this, so I'm going to let him do most of the explaining here. But from what I understand, this is a heavily modified uh, tandem Hobie Mirage kayak that originally had two pedal drives. And my dad has since modified it with an electric motor and then a solar panel. So, uh, Dad, if you can walk us through sort of how this thing works, because you know this better than anyone. Yeah, thanks very much. I appreciate it. Well. First of all, up here we have uh, we have a 100 watt, I believe, uh, solar panel, and it's movable so that uh, I can track the sun, and at the same time it's providing me shade in the uh, in the rear cockpit. So the wires lead down to a uh, marine style uh, uh, junction. All the wires are inside. It's a closed uh, hull. Uh, sit on kayak rather than a sit in kayak. All right, so all the cabling runs inside of the hole here. That's right, and it's uh, all weatherproof connectors. And so this is kind of the heart of the operation. This is where the standard Hobie pedal drive would sit. And what I did is I, I took a um, cassette which is what you put in here when you're not using the pedal drive. I modified the cassette with a 24 pound thrust Minn Kota um, trolling motor, electric trolling motor. I cut down the shaft so it was shorter. So the propeller is just below the hull and the power is going to the, uh, to the motor through the warp drive connection. <laughs> And then we have a full battery meter um, that we can check uh, all of the diagnostics to see how I'm charging, how much I'm using, how much battery I have left so I don't run out. That's uh, Velcroed on top of the, the motor. I always keep the motor tiller in the neutral position because with the Hobie, I can use the tiller with the rear uh, rudder. When we open up the rear hatch, so this is basically between my knees when I'm running, we have the uh, solar uh, charge controller. You may be able to hear the, uh, the fan running. The fan is just loud enough so that I know that, uh, that it's running and that the system is, uh, is operating. This also gives me a second set of diagnostics so I can check the numbers if I'm concerned about the accuracy between this gauge and this gauge, but they run very, very close and I just haven't had any, uh, any issue whatsoever. So all of this stays below and stays pretty, pretty dry. And then the motor is actually running off of a battery and the solar panel is charging the battery constantly. Uh, so we're basically using the solar panel as a range e extender. So here's the battery, which Micah showed you in a previous video that uh, he built specifically for uh, my needs. This is the uh, little charging cable for when I charge it at home. It's got a weatherproof disconnect here, so I can obviously pull it out of the kayak. I've got it in two or three layers of shrink wrap with some uh, marine uh, silicon caulking at all of the uh, points where it was open on the ends to get it good and uh, waterproof because we are out in a warm, moist marine environment. And, and what, then I've got it these? up yeah. on these little pieces of PVC, which if I get a little bit of water in the hull, it's gonna sit above just a little bit of drips that may go into the hull. So we put that in there with those little PVC feet down it just sits in there, doesn't rock around, never had a problem. 
This is uh, part of the uh, wiring harness that you uh, need to use. And uh, of course you help me uh, put the wiring in there. So this gets locked down in the forward uh, hatch and that's weatherproof. And so the entire system is uh, pretty much fully self-contained. The battery I think weighs about six or seven pounds. Uh, and I get a lot of comments. A lot of people point and stare and ask, uh, you know, what's powering that thing? And then they see that it's a solar panel and uh, people will shriek, it's solar powered. That is so cool. <laughs> so it's a four speed Minn Kota motor that I bought off of eBay for, for next to nothing. Because those uh, small old motors, uh, you know, are just pretty inexpensive. I didn't need a big power motor. And I also needed one that would drop through uh, down in the center scupper, which is where the, uh, the pedal drive normally goes. So I think I've got the, uh, the best rig, the greenest rig, and the most efficient rig out on the water here in Southwest Florida. I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you're sharing this with your, with your audience. Yeah, well, everyone was super excited to see this. So uh, I appreciate you showing me and all of uh, my subscribers how it works. Now, the question that I have, because I don't think I've asked this yet, I'm sure many people are wondering, is how fast can you get it up to? So, um, you know, you're, you're always limited by the, by the shape and size of the hull, but, um, you know, on a good day with a little bit of a wind behind me, I can get this up to uh, between five and six knots, which is, uh, which is pretty dang good. Boats see me going by, and they can't believe that this thing is going uh, almost six knots. And, um, you know, most of the time I'm going a lot slower. I'm usually in the lowest speed or the second speed. And of course, through the meter, I can watch how much power I'm drawing. And just like on an e-bike, the slower I go, the greater the range I have. So there are days I've gone eight, 10, 12 miles and I can watch the battery constantly being recharged. So when I stop to fish, I'm obviously rigged here to, uh, to fish and I'm not using power. I'm not drawing powder, power from the battery. Then I'm uh, recharging the battery. So uh, it's a great rig. I've never been caught without enough power to get home. And uh, just seeing the people stare at it and smile at it is, uh, is half the fun of being out here on the water. Yeah, absolutely. So have you ever thought about putting a second solar panel on the front canopy or is it not really necessary? You know, I've thought about doing that and it wouldn't be that tough to do, especially when I have you to help out to <laughs> make sure I wire it properly. But, uh, you know, I'm just not having any problems with uh, power demands. You know, if I wanted to, you know, to do a 20 or 25 mile kayak, I mean, I've gone as far as 10, 12 miles and never had a, had a problem. I mean, I was getting a little low, but, uh, you know, I always bring a pedal drive and I always bring a paddle with me just in case I have some sort of failure or I run out of power. But, uh, you know, it could be done. 100 bucks buys the panel and the panel has been great. You know, I've got it uh, on this PVC frame. It'd be very easy to add it to the front PVC frame. I just don't find the need to do it. Yeah, definitely. Let's, uh, let's ask some passengers here what they think. Hey, Isha and Afi, were you guys riding around in Papa's uh, solar powered kayak earlier? Yep. What'd you think? It was fun and nice. Do you know how it's powered? By, or... by I think it's by um, a motor or, an, or, um, or a yeah. battery. Yeah, it's got both. It's got a battery down inside and then there's a motor beneath it. And do you know where the electricity comes from? No. The solar panel on Papa? Exactly, that big solar panel. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty neat too. All right, thanks dad for showing us how the kayak works. Um, if you guys have any questions, why don't you put them in the comments? I'm sure you'll be happy to answer them, right? I'll be happy to answer them. Yeah, so uh, let me know if you have any comments and uh, thanks for watching. Do you have any questions or comments, Nafi? Yeah. What's your question? How do you build a kayak? How do you build a kayak? I don't um, think you build a kayak, I think you buy it. Well, maybe that'll be my next book. What do you think? How to build a solar powered kayak. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Oh, last but not least, time to announce the winner of the book giveaway from my last video. And the randomly selected commenter is... Stanley Shoop. 
So congratulations, just let me know which one of my books you'd like, either the Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, or Electric Motorcycles. And uh, anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, just put a comment down below and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time, everyone. Bye. Make sure you subscribe to the channel.